on today's episode of the Fresh Brew Run Vlog. Welcome to season two. Train, train, train. Nice. So I wanna do a little more research, but yeah, I'm probably gonna buy it. Good morning. Happy Tuesday. Welcome to episode 53 of the Fresh Brew Run Vlog. My name is Aaron and it is a great day for a run. So today is December 26th, but by the time you're watching this, it will be 2024. So happy new year. Welcome to season two of the Fresh Brew Run Vlog. So yeah, I'm excited. It was a good year last year. Got a lot planned for 2024. Today I'm out here on an eight mile run. I'm actually filming a different video, a comparison between the New Balance More V4 versus the New Balance 1080 V13. Teens. So right now I'm on my first four mile segment in the more V4s. I'm gonna go back to my car, switch my shoes, and then run in the V13s just to do a uh, comparison. So I'll link that in the description below, but I like to do that direct comparison. Because sometimes your memory can deceive you, so I just want to uh, run one run in two different pairs of shoes to get the most accurate feeling for what the difference between these two shoes are. It is extremely warm right now, December 26th, and it's 50 degrees, which is wild. I'll take it. You know, you kind of want to have a white Christmas, but as far as running goes, no concerns about slipping on black ice right now because it is warm out. I think when I get back to switch shoes, I'm going to get rid of my jacket because I'm sweating. December 26th and that tree is out of there. <laughs> okay, I'm on part two of my little run. Now I'm in the 1080 V13s. It is so hot. I'm in a t-shirt at the end of December. That's incredible. All right, getting near the end of my run, so I'm gonna wrap this run up. Um, I did get a new bag of coffee, so I'm gonna grind that when I get home. So I'll see you in a bit. Good run. I think this review is gonna turn out good. I feel like I covered all the things I wanted to. I'll see you uh, in a couple seconds. Okay, I am back and showered. Coffee time. I got this at Meyer the other day, the Woodward Corners Meyer. They had an amazing coffee selection. I was shocked at how good it is. This is from Sabbath Coffee Roasters. They are in Clawson, Michigan, but I got the Ethiopia Guji Kayan Mountain Blend. We taste strawberry, peach tea, and chocolate. I'm gonna grind this up, brew it up, and drink it up. And again, just like my running, I am not a coffee expert, I'm not a running expert, I'm just doing the best I can. So any criticisms in the comment section, I don't know, just be nice. That's good. You can definitely taste the, the, the hints of chocolate in there, so yeah. It's a good brew, I'm glad, because I got a lot of it. So um, that's that's coffee talk. I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, happy Thursday. Yeah, it's Thursday. It's also a great day for a run. I'm out here on a six mile easy run. Dogs be barking. More dogs barking. Bad dog, bad dog. Nice. Nice. So over Christmas, I um, had a conversation with my family and my dad asked me something that multiple people have asked me over the past year or so since I started doing the vlog. And that is when I film drivers blowing through stop signs, do they notice? And like, is there a risk that someone's gonna get out of their car and try to fight me? The answer is very unlikely. Most people that are gonna run a stop sign or a red light or not use a turn signal are so oblivious that they're not going to notice a tiny camera in my hand. And I do have to be somewhat selective. Like there are times where it's very obvious that the person can see me, like if they're blocking the crosswalk. So I kind of either don't film that or I'll try to like hide my camera. Yeah, there is a little bit of a tact to it. But for the most part, people are so clueless when they're driving that they don't notice my GoPro. <laughs> oh, that was, that was embarrassing. All right, I'm gonna wrap this one up. Good run, a little drizzly, but again, just enjoying the warm weather while it lasts. It's supposed to be cold coming up, so. Getting my last warm runs in of the year. My last runs of the year, I guess, technically. But uh, yeah, I should be running tomorrow. Hopefully maybe eight, we'll see. But uh, I'll see you then, or whenever I see you. 
good morning happy friday it is a great day for a run out here eight miles easy pace just uh, enjoying another warm ish day although the temperature has dropped a little bit into the uh the unpleasant zone which is like around 37 degrees where you're cold for the first two miles of your run and then you're hot for the rest of it and you get sweaty and then you get cold again but at least it's not icy so for 2024 happy 2024 i'm still in 2023 right now but by the time you're watching this it's a new year my plan so far is i'm gonna run the winter lauf in frankenmuth michigan very excited about that then i'm gonna run the riverbank run 10k in grand rapids and then start training for my marathon but i think i'm looking to pick up another road race in like june so if anybody has any good recommendations preferably in the state of michigan let me know but once i get to mid-june that's when marathon training for the toronto waterfront marathon starts and that'll be in october so that's my plan so far nice all right wrapping this one up good run feeling good tomorrow i think i'm gonna try to do like a one final long run of 2023 so we'll see you then good morning happy saturday it is a great day for a run out here 10 miles today this will be my last uh long run of the year so pumped up about that nobody stops at that stop sign it's all right though just gotta keep your head on a swivel anyway feeling good it's uh like 33 degrees right now which is good because we're out of that that no man's land of 37 degrees it's like cold so you can wear layers and not get too hot train 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 nice oh man i got here a little too early that's what i get for running a quick pace anyway amtrak over the uh viaduct but uh wow all right that's a good way to end the year i'll tell you that much so i have something in my amazon wish list right now that i'm pretty sure i'm gonna get and it's something i never thought i would buy i actually told myself i would literally never buy this and that is a selfie stick so i was doing my shoe review of the new balance more v4 versus the 1080 v13 which check that out if you haven't watched it already and i was unable to capture any like slow-mo b-roll because i just didn't have time because with just the gopro i have to set up every shot so i have to like stop my run put my camera down run in front of the camera like three or four times to make sure like my foot lands directly in front of the camera i have to do this multiple times it just is very time consuming it probably adds like 30 minutes to every run when i have to get that b-roll and i think it adds a lot to the video so i don't want to just keep ignoring it but the solution to that is a selfie stick and i have not used a selfie stick for two reasons one there's a lot of other youtubers out there that are doing shoe reviews and doing running videos that use the selfie stick and i don't want to like look like i'm just directly copying them and the second reason is i think it just looks a little goofy <laughs> although here i am holding a gopro with my hand running through a neighborhood i'm sure i look ridiculous now but you know it just has that like 2015 tourist being annoying at the louvre in paris vibe to it that i've wanted to avoid however i think the benefits of being able to capture that b-roll on the run without having to stop far outweigh anybody thinking i'm goofy plus i feel like i've developed my own style enough where no one's gonna be like oh this is a complete rip off the ability to just capture that footage without having to stop is a huge bonus for me so i want to do a little more research but yeah i'm probably gonna buy it and use it in 2024 because there's a lot of shoes coming out that i'm very excited about and want to do reviews for so i want to put like the best videos possible out there for those shoes so that's selfie stick talk <laughs> so the rochester road road construction is done they added a road diet this was a four lane road and went down to a two lane road with a middle lane look how slow that truck is going hard to go super fast when you're on a narrower road which is good um this is also where i fell this summer <laughs> uh the construction area was slick and i fell on my butt and got my new shoes very dirty so just reminiscing old times i slipped right here all right so i am seeking out a bathroom because i drank a lot of water this morning i'm gonna go to the porta potties at the ice rink but good news right behind me the city is planning on putting in 
uh, permanent public restroom, which is great because guessing at the porta potty situation in Royal Oak is always hit or miss because they're always moving them around, putting them up, taking them down. That cannot open up soon enough. Perfect location too, very central, especially on all my running routes. So fired up for that, good move. Eh, sort of. All right, gonna wrap this video up. Good run. Nice to end 2024 with a strong, long run. So I will uh, see you tomorrow. Just gonna do three miles. Trying to get to a certain amount of mileage for 2023. Did I say 2024 a second ago? I'm already in next year. You're in next year. I'm all confused. Anyway, see you shortly. Good morning, happy Sunday. Great day for a run. I'm out here. Just a quick three miles. I'm trying to get to 1,700 miles total for the year. I just need three. So just trying to get that in. And I'm going kind of fast, so might not talk much today. Oh, what am I thinking? All right, I'm done. Woo! I uh, went too fast, first mile and a half. Tried to, I don't know, set a PR in the 5K or something. But anyway, that will be the video for today this is my last run in 2023 so thank you to everyone who's watched my videos commented subscribed liked interacted you've made it fun for me to be out here doing these runs so thank you i hope everyone had a good year and i hope everyone has a happy new year i'll see you in the next one